Dry ice blasting is a process in which particles of solid carbon dioxide, commonly known as dry ice, are propelled at high velocities to impact and clean a surface. Upon impact, the particles return to their natural state as carbon dioxide gas and thus simply disappear as they clean. From an environmental standpoint, dry ice is made from recycled CO2 that's been recaptured from industrial sources, so you're not producing new CO2. And of course, cleaning with dry ice creates no secondary waste and eliminates solvents. So really it is truly green from start to finish. And dry ice pellets and blocks are easily available just about everywhere in the world. Just call a producer, schedule a delivery, and you get a nice insulated tote filled with dry ice delivered right to your door. The cold jet machines couldn't be easier to set up. Attach compressed air, plug into standard electric, connect your hose, applicator, nozzle of choice, add some ice, and that's it. Then just start cleaning and saving money. Since first being introduced commercially in 1987, dry ice blasting has grown to become a vital part of the industrial cleaning practices in a broad range of industries. Though it is easy to compare the process to sandblasting, dry ice actually removes contaminants differently. Sandblasting is an abrasive process. Although it effectively removes surface contaminants, it also picks away at the substrate, wearing it away over time, altering surface geometries, destroying critical tolerances. Sand particles can also become entrapped, causing critical problems that can shut down the manufacturing process while the problem is solved. Dry ice, on the other hand, disappears as it cleans and will not alter most industrial substrates. On successful cleaning applications, the dry ice pierces the contaminant but sublimates upon striking the underlying substrate. The resulting expansion of the carbon dioxide gas actually lifts the contaminant off from the inside out. The dry ice then disappears without damaging the targeted surface and without creating grit entrapment issues. Damage is certainly of vital importance. The most significant benefit for many users is a substantial reduction in downtime. Dry ice blasting is most often used right out on the shop floor. Cool down, masking and disassembly are not required. As an example, in the foundry industry, dry ice blasting is ideally suited to clean hot core boxes and permanent molds in place. Mold cleaning is a common dry ice blasting application, not only in foundries, but also in food manufacturing and in rubber and plastics molding. Downtime that was once measured in hours or sometimes even days is now measured in minutes. Before due to the dismantling and the extensive cleaning that we had to do, it would take us up to eight, ten hours to do a tool. Uh, with the ice blaster, we can, uh, we can do a mold in 30 minutes, uh, 35 minutes completely. Other examples of labor savings are also quite impressive. This printer in El Paso needed eight man hours to clean each printing couple using solvents and rags. Dry ice reduced that time to one hour per couple and cleaned more effectively. This manufacturer of engineered wood products required eight man hours to hand clean this hardboard press. Dry ice blasting reduced the time to just two hours while improving worker comfort and safety. A third benefit offered by dry ice blasting is improved cleaning performance. In effect, a cleaner clean. We found it to be outstanding at cleaning parts of aircraft that were normally very difficult to clean. All of the structures are bonded together with sealer and the ability for the sealer to have good adhesion to the airframe components is completely dependent upon how well the structure has been cleaned. And solvents that we use to clean those areas have come under a ban from the EPA. What we found was that the dry ice blasting took care of that need excellently. In other words, we were able to clean better than we could with solvents and in so doing we had a higher success rate in promoting that adhesion. Most of our molds are textured molds. The residue and build up from the plastic starts to fill up the texture and by keeping the molds clean and by keeping the residue out we get a much sharper texture definition after the part is painted which makes it a better looking part and in, in turn makes our customers happier. Dry ice blasting is far more thorough than hand scrubbing and can be safely used around belts, hoses, electrical wiring, and other areas where grit blasting and power washing are forbidden.
In some cases, dry ice blasting offers a way to clean where none previously existed. There are areas of the press that you cannot get to with a rag and blanket wash. You can't get in between the cylinders on the side frame. You can do a little bit of cleaning in that area, but to thoroughly clean that takes a whole lot more time than what it takes to use the dry ice machine. We were actually looking for ways to clean them. You know, we were kind of at a dead end. We didn't have any alternatives or any solutions to getting that build up off. We had to have something that would take the build up off, but leave the ceramic coating on and that's exactly what the dry ice does. It takes the build up right off and we don't lose any of the texture on our embossing pattern and it just does a wonderful job. A fourth benefit of dry ice blasting is improved worker and environmental safety. Hand scrubbing sometimes requires workers to come into close or direct contact with hot equipment surfaces. Dry ice blasting eliminates this problem. Also, the process reduces worker exposure to hazardous solvents. The reduction or elimination of solvents is beneficial not only to workers, but to the environment as well. From an environmental point of view, uh, the cold jet dry ice blasting process is, is, uh, is pretty sweet. First of all, you're using dry ice that is recycled or recaptured from a, some other industrial process. We're, we're using a recycled product that disappears as you're using it and uh, doesn't leave any secondary waste. I'm not an environmental engineer, but what I know is VOC bad, no VOC good. The dry ice cleaning system uh, offers us an environmentally friendly way to clean the press. Some of the ways that it's an advantage for us is, like I said, it's, it's the solvents. Uh, the mechanics trying to use the solvents, which are, is, you know, bothers their eyes, irritates their eyes and, and, their, and their nose. And, uh, also, um, uh, the cleanliness of it as far as uh, using the dry ice. There's no carrying chemicals or, or using the wire brushes. And, and uh, it's just a much more uh, simpler, cleaner process for us. And in so doing, we've been able to reduce the amount of chemicals that we use. And that was a critical point for us, was to reduce our total air emissions and our hazardous waste stream. Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma and Hill Air Force Base in Utah have combined to eliminate over 4,500 gallons of chemicals annually by turning to dry ice blasting equipment. In addition, Hill reports that labor and material costs have been reduced by more than 75 percent. Dry ice blasting also dramatically reduces waste disposal. When using sand to remove hazardous materials, the sand mixes with the contaminants, and all must be treated as hazardous waste. Dry ice, on the other hand, disappears and does not become part of the waste stream. One service contractor in the petroleum industry reports that when they used sand blasting, they measured their waste volume by the train car. Upon switching to dry ice blasting, they now measure waste by the barrel. Dry ice is generally available in three forms. Most dry ice blasting units require the use of rice-sized pellets. We are the only company to offer blasting units capable of using any form of dry ice, whether it be pellets, block, or nuggets. Not only are these smaller crystals more effective than the larger pellets in cleaning equipment with intricate surfaces or tiny openings such as screens or microvents, but they also provide about 1,000 times more surface strikes for a given volume of ice. This provides more thorough surface coverage, leading to faster removal rates on thinner contaminants. Our customer list includes numerous Fortune 500 companies, all branches of the military, and a number of public utilities. Despite the presence of such familiar names, a substantial portion of the customer list is comprised of smaller companies, who are known primarily to their customers or within their industry, but who nonetheless enjoy the substantial benefits offered by dry ice blasting. With dry ice blasting, we've really become uh, the leader in our industry and in our market. I work very hard for my money, and when I'm going to make a purchase of any significance, I do a lot of research. I have to. And the cold jet system it was so much more complete. If you want to make the money, if you want to do the big jobs, you want to make production, and production, by the way, is profit, then cold jet is the way to go.